Watch this. What? What? Hey, yo! Hello everyone, I'm Maxwell and welcome to the Stanley Parable 2. Now, I played this game before, but unfortunately, the audio, like, or the video file got corrupted or whatever. So we'll just begin where we left off and begin a new game. This game is crazy, man. I'm not even gonna lie. It's funny as hell. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Ah, uh, yes. Stanley worked Stanley. for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Mm -hmm. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on mm -hmm. the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. Jesus, that'd be so tedious. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Ugh. And although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished huh, every that's moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Huh. And Stanley Jesus. was happy. All right. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh, no yeah, that would be... to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. He's got the achievement, welcome back. Quit the game and start it again. Okay then. Let me type something on the computer. Alrighty. What does that say? I hate Mondays. Well... Actually... I mean, I don't hate Mondays. You may hate Mondays. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I swear there's something to do with the computers. Uh, anyway. Is this on? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. What if I keep touching everything around here? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Yes. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Click a door 20 times? Didn't work. Hmm, what's this? The, oh yeah, the bucket. Be my valentine. The good old bucket. Just Stanley in the bucket. Off on and Someone's playing solitaire over there. I can together. see it. Why is this here, though? I'm just gonna go this way. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest okay. and entered the door on his left. Well, I'll go with the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. How do I get... I see these rooms here, but how do I get in there? Like, can I... Why is every door locked? 
And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. It's just... How insightful the bucket turned out to be. I mean, it's just a no, meeting room. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm gonna see what's over here. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. <laughs> Jesus. How do, wait, how do I get over there? That door's open. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or what if how I just walk Bucket off the edge was speaking to get him. Over there. It should have alarmed him, of course, because Buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious Got to this correctly. He was firmly convinced that the Bucket had spoken to him. Uh, yes! And he unthinkingly yes. did whatever the Can't believe it got on here. There was a little thing in my bobby over there and I got it. So, yeah, I've been over there. There's not really much over there. But I've never been this way. Danger everywhere. No narration? Okay. Am I supposed to be back here? No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this hey, point. Hey, yo! Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a I lot mean, about your behavior up to this point. Which, come on. if that's true, well, my what? goodness, I think we have to do something about it. Is it because it's made of metal? Understanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much since, the since when? The story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please step in here for a moment. I'm right. The cargo. No other buttons to press. What if I just try and go back out this way? No? Fine, mate. I will go in here. This is a bucket. Now, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios. And you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply yeah, enough, all right. right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, all right, hit me with it. Item one. Is this a bucket? Well, obviously it's not. Come on. Correct. It <laughs> is a Hey, yo! A not an actual bucket. Why, what? I mean, I was being sarcastic, but anyway. Item two. Is this a bucket? Hmm, doesn't have a sticker on it like mine, so obviously not. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket. Oh my god. Bucket. Jesus Christ. This game is something else. Item three. Is this a bucket? Yes. Correct. What this is a bucket? I'm, I'm, I think my choices don't even matter here. Okay. Item four. Is this a bucket? Of course. Correct. Oh, this is a ha, how could I have known? And not a bucket. I'm, to I'm, be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was stuck. Exactly. To get concerned that even this might I'm be too, too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Of course. Next one. Of course. I knew it would straight away. I mean, if it it looks like a bucket with those four wheels. Is this a bucket? Hmm. Let's see. It has no openings. It has glass, an engine, wheels. Hmm. Hmm. It's obviously not a bucket. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Oh, well, okay then. Item six. Is this a bucket? I think everything is just a... No, that's not a bucket. 
trick question. I knew that. Gotcha. I actually knew that. So you can't even trick me, bro. I'm just saying. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. I mean, you should have this prepared the next time. But anyway, what if I go this way? Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore you, you don't know that. nothing could possibly be something. You do not Unless know that. Unless in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Yes, there is nothing in that bucket. Look, I'm holding a bucket with nothing, nothing in it. A bucket? Yes. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Exactly. Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. Now you're asking the real questions. now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Exactly. Am I a bucket? This is how you unlock the Stand deeper it. understanding I doing this. I'm losing of the myself, bucket. Myself was all I ever had to begin with. Exactly. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. Okay. Hey, yo. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Every single <laughs> thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stan, I mean, you're still I don't here. Know about that. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is well, wonderful of course. news. We're and not me. buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right. Yeah, of course. Here we go. So everything is a bucket. All right. That's enough game for one day. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.